Hey guys, welcome back. We are now in section 2.0.3. This section will cover how to link to your actual ID attributes. If you have not seen tutorial 2.0.2 .2, um, on how to actually create these ID attributes, then watch that video before this. So jumping right into it, click where you want your ID attribute to be linked. Um, so when a user will click this A button, the page will automatically jump down to this section. So to do this, we need to create an H reference right here. So start it off a H ref equals quotes and then a number sign or hashtag, depending if you're on or used to Twitter at all and the quote and then in that in general and now create an ending a tag. So now we have just created a link an H reference to this which is right here, the ID attribute that we created earlier. So now when a user clicks this A right here, the page will jump down to the A because we created this ID attribute and that's what this whole uh, little code means. Now creating one for the B tag, it is the exact same steps. So A href equals quotes hashtag or pound uh, B quotes, close it. And now right after B, close the A tag. So saving that, we now have created two links to our ID um, attributes right here. Now we want to also create a link so that when a user clicks on return to top, they will return to the top ID attribute, which is right here. So to do that, all we have to do is create another H reference inside of our division tag here or depending on whatever your website uses, it will go in the same way, basically. So h ref equals now another hashtag or pound and then top and then uh, close that off with quotes and then close that in general and then add a closing a tag at the very end. Save it and let's test this out, guys. So now we open that up and let's start off with return to top. We click it, it returns the top of the page just like we coded it. And now we click A, it jumps to A, and we click B, and it jumps to B. So guys, that was creating and linking to your ID attributes that we did in tutorial 2.0.2. .2. If you have not seen it, I recommend watching that. Um, it's very useful for glossary pages and any kind of web pages like that where you have to link to different stuff um, all the way and up and down the page. But again, this tutorial is brought to you by TechoBellTutorials.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.